Brian, right. did you ride all the way from Birmingham? I did. <laughs> How long, did, what time did you start? 1.30. <laughs> this morning? Yes. And then what time did you get here? Um, well, I got a little bit lost inside the arsenal, so I didn't get here until almost 10. It was... <laughs> wow. But, uh, now, what, what route did you take coming up? Well, it, Highway 31 just goes all the way from Birmingham um, through Decatur, across the river there, and then go on up to uh, Airport Road, which takes you to 20, and then you take 20, and it's the... <laughs> The rolling road that takes you all the way over to the, the Arsenal Road. Wow. Down there. Good job. Now, when did you first meet Terry and Doug? Well, I mean, just through the biking community, we've done a number of rides together. I don't remember the exact date, you know, but um, it's just been awesome. You know. And is this your wife? Yes, this is my wife, Christine. Now, Christine, do you ride bikes too? No, <laughs> she's a runner. Not bicycle in our house because we've got too many of them. She's a, she's a runner. She just did the Mercedes half marathon uh, Very last, good. on Saturday, Sunday. Very good. <laughs> strengthened by their ever-growing love and understanding of each other and that they they have learned to depend on each other no matter what life brings their way as they stand before us and unite in marriage they are declaring to each other and to all of us present that they will be by each other's side no matter what life brings their way from this day forward this is such an incredible experience that words often fail us when we try to explain it but trying to describe love is still one of our favorite pastimes. We use the words, we have to write stories and poems and songs about love. And even though we describe love in different ways, and love can look different from one person to another, we all know it when we see it. And we see it here today in you. The Declaration of Wedding Vows is a solemn pledge and will affirm your love for one another as you join in marriage. Terry and Doug, you've both chosen to wear rings as a reminder of your love and union. These rings, like your love, have come from humble beginnings, and through a combination of fortunate discovery and effort, imperfect beings shape it into something extraordinary. It's the process of making something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. As you look at these rings over the years, I hope you remember that. You've created something invaluable. And just as I know you'll protect these rings, I'm confident you'll protect the commitments you've made to one another today. So Terry, I ask you now, please place the ring on Doug's finger. Terry, Will you take Doug as your favorite person to laugh with him, go on adventures with him, support him through life's toughest moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him each and every day? If so, please say I do. Doug, please place the ring on Terry's finger. Doug. Will you take Terry as your favorite person to laugh with her, go on adventures with her, support her through life's toughest moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her each and every day? If so, please say I do. I do. <laughs> and will you, Terry and Doug, be each other's partners from this day forward? Will you bring out the best in one another? share your happiest moments together, and love each other absolutely for the rest of this lifetime and for whatever may come next? If so, please say we do. We do. <laughs> With those few words, and by the authority vested in me by the ordinance of God and the laws of this state, Doug and Terry, I now pronounce you husband and wife. 
You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Gentlemen, it is truly a privilege and an honor to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Doug and Terry Luttrell. Folks, it's going to take a little while to, for the for everybody to get the food and stuff uh, set out. So just mingle and have fun and relax and enjoy yourselves.